Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Broken Sword 2. In the last episode, we, uh, we, we, uh, mm, how should we describe? We went to that country, Quatamante, all right, that was it, Quatamante. We went to Quatamante, we learned a lot of things. We learned that we have to go around the world and collect these three little, you know, square stones or whatever, rectangular stones. Uh, we already have one of them since the beginning of the game, so we need to go around and find the other two. Hence why Georgie Poo here is in the Caribbean on this island. And what are we going to do here? I don't really know. We just left off right when we got here, so I guess we're just going to take a look around. I might say hi to this man first. What's up, man? Not a lot to interact with otherwise. What's up, hi. man? Is this Ketch's Landing? Yeah, that's right. My name's George Stobart. You're a surveyor, right? Mr. Bronson. And of course I'm a surveyor. Why the hell else will I have a theodolite? Well, I don't know. Abbey, maybe? Yeah, right. What brings you here, anyway? I'm searching for an ancient Mayan artifact. What is it? Some kind of jewel? No, it's obsidian. A black stone with supposedly mystic powers. You're nuts. Mystic powers? Yeah, show them what it looks like. To the stone I'm looking for. What makes you think you'll find it here? Because when the stones were stolen in the 17th century, hold it. The stones have been lost for 300 years, approximately. And you're hoping to find them again? You're nuts. And why here? A wise old Indian shaman told me he saw the stones in a vision. Ha ha. That's rich. Listen, I got work to do, okay? Wise Indian Shaman. Because that sounds like a real story. Look at this. An article about a total eclipse of the sun. Oh, yeah? Listen, I don't want to be rude, uh, but it just comes naturally. I really don't care. <laughs> it just comes That's naturally. It, I'm a dickhead all the time. All right, well, fuck this guy so far. Not really helpful, but maybe we'll need something from him later. That's why he exists. Let's look around, though. I just had to sneak a look at those plans. Okay. I assume I can't do that while he's standing there. Get out of there. You know, wherever I go, I hear those words. Paris, Syria, Ireland, or Spain. It makes no difference. What do you think you're doing? I was trying to show some interest in your project. I guess we'll have to distract him if we want to look at those plans, eh? Oh, there's a little bit more going on in this beach than I thought. No, oh, we'll take a look through his little his little thing. Let's see. There's a shiny here. Uh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I wasn't able to move it around right now. But there's a shiny on the end of that little, like, window flagpole thing. So I'm thinking that's important. So we'll have to go check that out when we get a chance. All right, so once he's distracted, we'll be able to look at his plans. But let's see if there's anything else going on over here. I didn't even... Oh, my God. There's so much over here. There's a kid over here sitting on the fucking dock, fishing and shit. Okay. Let's go talk to him. There's this net thing over here, too. We'll have to check out whatever the hell that is. In fact, let's check it out real quick before we get by and go talk to the kid. What's this? I didn't want a fishing net. Well, maybe you will one day. Maybe you will. <gasps> he's not looking. Ah! Ah, he's not looking. Quick! I didn't realize he was gonna just walk away like that. Ah, shit, dude. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right. Is that a timing thing? Will he just do that every once in a while? Because son of a bitch. Okay. He's going back. Quick. Run! Run, Georgie Poo! Okay, so he just does that every time you walk up. Okay, that's fair. All right, so he just he's just a bitch. When you get close, he moves over to the plans. That's just what it is. So we got to keep him distracted. Noted. Noted. I was just trying to see how it worked. He walked away, and I didn't see him do that before. I was like, bitch, what are you doing? Kid? You want to buy some fish? Nah, I don't like fish. What's your name? Fuck Rio. your fish. It means river. What about you, George? It means, uh, well, it, it's just a name. <laughs> it don't mean shit. Is it true that Captain Ketch lived around here? That's right. 
That's his house up on the hill. It's a museum now. Yeah? That's exactly what I need. Thanks, kid. You won't get inside, you know. The old ladies close it down. Oh, I'll get inside. What do you know about Captain Catch? Just what everybody knows around here. He was a pirate and get himself hung. Okay. No school today? No, sir. What about your education? I can fish, sail, and swim. I've been looking after myself since I was six, and I'm bilingual. Aren't you a little overqualified for a beach bum? Well, you know, there's a lot of competition. Lot of competition. Who are these old ladies you mentioned? Miss Frost and Miss Mina Ketch. How come the old ladies closed the museum? It's Branson's doing. He have the plans for redeveloping the museum. They quite regret it, you know. The man's a crook. Oh, so that Bronson guy's gonna fuck this whole thing up. I got gotcha. you. Will you help me get those plans? I don't want to go nowhere near that man. He promised to draw me when he found the fish I left in his sleeping bag. Why did you do that? Is he a dick? I mean, that's probably why. Do you know anything about pirate treasure? Man, that's all stories. There's no such thing as a real pirate treasure. Are you sure about that? Do you know anything about a forthcoming eclipse? No, but that explains why the weather's about to get real bad. Real? It's a beautiful day. There's no more than a whisker of cloud in the sky. Trust the man, it's going to get real bad. I like how they translated his words to be a little more understandable, even though the way he spoke was more trying to be like Jamaican accent, even though that was a terrible Jamaican accent. I didn't know the first thing about sailing a dinghy. Well, then don't sell a dinghy, boy. All right, so I guess we'll go look around and see what else we can find. But to look at that dude's plans, we're going to have to distract him. He's going to shut down the museum. What a punk bitch. I just need to get in there to see if the artifact's in there. I could really give two fucks about it being a museum, to be honest. Here's the old ladies, though, and their cat. They're fucking Persian. Hi, puss. Want to play? Meow. Um... Oh. Hey, cat. Watch where you're putting those claws. Evil cat. Attacks when you get close. Noted. All right. Should we just talk to these ladies? Let's talk to them. Hi. My name's George Stobart. Hi. Good afternoon, Mr. Stobart. Would you care for tea? No, thank you, ma'am. I don't like tea. Is that your cat? Yes, it is. It's Ruddles. Ruddles? Would you like cats, Mr. Stobart? Um, yeah, of course. Cats are awesome. You bet. Especially spit roast. Oh, my God. Can you tell me anything about Captain Ketch? More than you can tell me about your great-great-great-great-grandfather, no doubt. You're his descendant? Certainly. Captain Ketch was born in Dorset, England, in the reign of King Henry VIII. His family were undistinguished farmers, but young Frederick Ketch decided to go to sea. We have plenty of semen in our family, Mr. Stobart. Plenty of semen. So many, so much semen. I'm, I'm, I love history. Yes, I am. You were telling me about Captain Ketch. Do go on. Oh, yes. He sailed under Hawkins. Jim Hawkins? John Hawkins. One of the great traders of the Elizabethan age. In 1568, Frederick Ketch was a young man sailing aboard the Jesus. Hawkins flagship. They sailed from England to Africa and across the wide Atlantic to these islands. Ketch was never to see the shores of England again. Okay. How come Ketch never made it home? Because the Spaniards sank the Jesus in an act of treachery. Fucking Spaniards. You said Hawkins' fleet traded between Africa and the Indies. What was it they were trading? Black men with no shirts. You have to understand, Mr. Stobart, that this was the 16th century. But that doesn't alter the fact that Hawkins and Ketch were slavers and pirates. Would it surprise you to learn that Hawkins was also a devoutly religious man? He transported slaves in a ship named after Jesus Christ. In my book, that makes him a hypocrite. Damn, get fucked, Ketch. What happened to Ketch? Was he killed? Oh, no. He got away and returned to this island. To this very house. The Frederick Ketch Memorial Museum. Yeah, that's what it's called now. Is it true Frederick Ketch was a pirate? Frederick Ketch was emphatically not a pirate. They hanged him, you know. Down there on the beach in front of his family. Didn't bother with the trial. 
just whipped him out from his breakfast table and hoisted him up in chains. Yeah, he probably deserved it. Well, if he wasn't a pirate, what did they hang him for? Envy. Pure green-eyed envy. Yeah, okay. He was a successful privateer, you see, and had accumulated great wealth. As rich as a mink in a paddock. Shut up, Nina. Yes, Bros. The small-minded governor and his lackeys wanted his money. Trumped up some ridiculous charge about breaking the conditions of his letter of mark. And hanged him like a common thief. The blackguards! Huh. Letter of Mark? The document that permitted him to engage and destroy the enemies of the crown. The difference between a lawful privateer and a pirate. I'm sure whatever he did was still kind of questionable. Why didn't Ketch just say, take a hike, guys, I've got a pirating license. Frederick Ketch was not a pirate. But he did show them his letter of Mark. But they destroyed it and hanged him anyway. Well, that seems kind of effed, but all right. I've been talking to Rio, the little fisher boy. I'll thank you not to mention that little wretch in my presence. Dirty little whelk. Nasty fishy boy. That will do, Nina. Uh, nasty fishy boy. I gather you don't have much time for the little boy. That child is a delinquent, Mr. Stobart. Yeah, well, he's only, what, 11, maybe? A knave with one hand on the top. Whatever, dude, he's a child. What is it about Rio that you don't like, Miss Frost? Well, once upon a time, he and Emily... Be quiet this instant, Mina. Who's Emily? What can you tell me about Emily? Emily? What business can she be of yours? Her parents were killed in a typhoon. We, as her only living relatives, took it upon ourselves to raise the child. That's good to know Charity isn't dead. Oh, but she is. Washed overboard in the typhoon. Mr. Strobart wasn't talking about Emily's mother. He was being sarcastic. Duh. What else can you tell me about Emily? How dare you pry into our family in this way? I refuse to answer any more of your impertinent questions. That's fine. I'm kind of sick of talking to you, too. All right. Well, you know, these ladies are a bunch of bit or a couple of bitches. Good times. Any reason to climb the tree? Not yet, anyways. So, the flagpole has a shiny on the end. That's the shiny we saw on the little, you know, the little equipment down here. We'll have to figure out a way to get that down, I'm sure. I couldn't reach the flagpole, and a bush stopped me from moving the ladder across. Okay. Just gonna take a look around at everything you know. Ladder. I see. The ladder extended easily. Gotcha. Can we go in the door? It was locked. Locked, I say. The house is closed. How oh. come? It is undergoing refurbishment. Refurbishment? Where are the workmen? Preparation is half the work, young man. The intention is to prepare the museum for the new century. The Frederick Ketch Memorial Museum. It would look nice in neon. A museum for a pirate? There was a stony silence. As I have already told you, sir, not a pirate. Not a pirate. Precisely this sort of vile misrepresentation that Mr. Bronson is seeking to rebalance. Oh? How? Mr. Bronson has kindly agreed to undertake the museum's refurbishment at a very reasonable price. He understands the importance of a sense of history. Funny. That's not the impression I got of Bronson at all. He also understands spherical geometry. Mina. Well, he does. Listen, ma'am, I came a long way to visit this place. If you make an exception in your case, everyone will want to get in. Pardon me, but I didn't exactly have to fight my way through the crowds. You're the second visitor we've had today. No, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. Two whole visitors? Man. How do you guys deal with the crowds? It's fucking crazy. The window was locked. Okay. Well, can we go anywhere else? Is there is there anything back here? Okay, nothing to interact with over here. There's another window here, which I'm assuming I can get up to now that I have the ladder. The windows were way out of reach. If I could get up to them, maybe I could climb in that way. You have a ladder, fool. With the ladies. 
Pardon me, ladies. I was just going to climb your ladder. I'm helping Bronson. Oh, you're not like him, are you? He's very polite, isn't he, Frost? And he has dimples when he smiles. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Sorry. So, okay, they won't let me. I thought maybe it was going to let me, but it's not going to let me. All right. I don't see any other else to go. So I'm thinking now that we've got more info about Bronson, like what he's about, maybe we'll talk to him a little more and see what's up. I couldn't get to yeah, yeah, I know. I want to talk to him some more, actually. Well, wait. He's not looking. Oh, I just Damn it. He took longer to come over here, but that's fine. I'm not going to talk to you about your bullshit plans because I can't. You're not going to let me look hey. at him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's talk to your let's just talk to your dumb ass. Talk to your dumb ass. Talk to his dumb ass. What do you think of Rio? Fish boy? If he comes near me again, I'll throttle the little squirt. Calm down. What's he ever done to you? Socked me in the back of my skull with some kind of fish, that's what. He probably deserved it. Tell me about the two old ladies. Who? The Catch sisters. One of them's crazy as a coot, and the other will turn you to stone if you're not careful. Uh, okay, I got. I kind of got that impression. What are you doing with the theodolite? Surveying the old house. I got great plans for this place. Oh yeah? You bet. Take a look around. What do you see? Paradise. I see opportunity. This place is ripe for development. I like it just the way it is. And that's where we differ. You see, Mr. Stobart, I'm what you might call a man of vision. I see a great future for Ketch's Landing, and it all starts here, with that house. Can I take a look at your plans? No way. What interest would they be to you, anyhow? I've always had a secret desire to be a surveyor. You have? Sure. I mean, you surveyors are just like the great explorers, aren't you? Henry the Navigator... Vasco da Gama, Chris Columbus. Maybe you don't sail uncharted seas or discover new continents, but you're okay in my book. Horseshit. You just stay away from <laughs> Fucking liar. Here. I'm thinking we gotta take the plans and use them to distract the old ladies because we're like, yo, check out these plans he has for your place. You're not gonna like it. How do you survey a house like that? I put a target reflector on the end of one of the flagpoles up there on the house. I sight on it from various locations through the theodolite, record the angles along the baseline, and triangulate them to give me the exact position of the target. Understand? Why the end of the flagpole? Wouldn't it have been better on a corner of a wall or something? Are you a surveyor? Uh, no, my degree's in law. Then shut up. Catch you later, Bronson. So we gotta fuck with his reflector? Is that what you're implying? Also, he said triangulate. Where's the third triangle? I don't know. Let's go talk to the kid again. And then maybe the kid has new dialogue. It's one of those situations where we gotta walk back and forth to figure out what we're, we're supposed to actually do next. It's kind of annoying. I think Bronson is trying to cheat those sweet, vulnerable old ladies. That's a little unfair, isn't it? Okay. He's trying to cheat those seriously demented, poisonous old ladies. <laughs> you have to admire his acumen. Tell me about your friend Emily. Why are you so interested in Emily Ketch? Emily Ketch? A descendant of Captain Ketch, the pirate? Yeah. Well, it doesn't bother you? Why should it? We don't responsible for our ancestors. We don't responsible. How come the old ladies closed the museum? It's Bronson's doing. He must have plans for redeveloping the museum. Oh, I know all about Mr. Bronson's plans. Okay, tell me about him. There was nothing else. You know all about his plans. Why don't you tell me about all his plans? Son of a bitch. Okay, so the net's not going to be helpful. I'm going to talk to Bronson again, I guess. Damn it. Whatever, just talk to him one more time. And if not, we'll go back to the old ladies one more time and see if anything new is up there. I had no more to... All right, no more to talk to him about either? All right. 
Up we go, you stupid hoe. You don't really know how we fucking roll, baby, yo. All right, old ladies. One more time with y'all. You're really fond of that cat, aren't you? You just are companion and all sawdust. I thought about catnapping the little monster until they let me in, but it wasn't my style. Maybe there was some other way I could use their affection for the cat to get me into the house. Okay, it was time for diversionary tactics. I thought I saw a little girl down on the beach. You must be mistaken. He must be mistaken. Mustn't he, Floss? Well, I'm sure I'm not. A little girl and that young fisher boy. What? It's not possible. Uh, what were they doing? Are well, the kinds of things that all little boys and girls get up to at their age? When I was a little girl, we used to play cows and milkmaids. Well, betide you if you're lying to us, Mr. Stobart. Heaven help you. Was that enough to get them to go check? Oh, they actually got up to go check. Wow. I didn't think that would actually work, but Jesus, that was that easy, huh? I ain't mad at it. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll just be here. The creek of ancient corsetry, the sisters sailed majestically over the distant horizon. Too easy. Once you got the info to distract, too easy. All right, let's go upstairs, up the ladder, see what he says about trying to go in the window or whatever. Okay. Bye. I didn't have a flag on me, so the flagpole would have to stay bare. Just my luck. I'd struck out again. The windows were all locked. I'm assuming I can't reach that. Yeah. Do I have an item in my inventory that'll help me reach that, I though? I not reach the flagpole, and a bush stopped me from moving the ladder across. Okay, well, what kind of items do I have? Can anything help me reach? Not really. I don't really have anything that's, like, for reaching. Um... Is there anything I can use with this with this flagpole? Maybe. I don't. Uh, maybe this. Maybe in my high. <laughs> maybe in my high school days, but not now. That's pretty funny. I'm not sure. Okay. I guess back down I go for the moment. I don't think I can move the ladder. Right, the ladder is pretty much stuck in place now that I've opened it up. There's something I can do up there, damn it. It was locked. And the window's locked as well, right? The window was locked. Okay. Well, okay, maybe the yarn from the cat. Maybe I gotta do something to this cat. I wasn't going to risk. Okay, what if I give the cat coal? What if I give the cat this thing? I doubted the cat would have salient remarks to make on a Mesoamerican artifact. Yeah, me too. But I thought maybe I could I get him. Right. I was right. <laughs> Dart him. It would have been pretty cool to drug the cat, but I didn't have the heart. And besides which, those sisters would kill me. Yeah, I'm not going to drug the kitty. I was just seeing if that was an option. Hey, cat. Want to play with this little doll? See if this works. No. Worm. Maybe he'll play with the worm, even though it's dead. It wasn't exactly enthralled at coming face to face with the great god Tezcatlipoca. Yeah, okay. What about this? The cat looked at me as if to say, Why have you brought a dead worm? I got an achievement for that, by the way. I had no answer. <laughs> I got an achievement for trying to give the cat a worm. That's funny. Here. Okay. What about this piece of paper? No. Last but not least, the panties. No. Well, shit. I don't have anything the cat wants to play with. The tree? I couldn't think of any reason to climb the tree. Why not? Why 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 no reason? Man, I guess we're gonna go observe because I don't have anything else to interact with up here. See what's going on down over here. Watch the, watch how they confront this boy. Wait, where the hell did they go? Hello? They just disappeared? sisters come by here. Did I? They look madder than usual, so I hide until they've gone by. That's as well. They thought you were playing with Emily. Boy, were they steamed. Emily? You're madder than them. Can you let me have a fish, kid? I thought you said you don't like fish. It's not for me. It's a present. For the old ladies? 
Well, it makes a change from flowers and candy. No, it's for the cat. Okay. What do I get out of it? I can pay you. I've got Quaramontian dollars, French francs, and traveler checks. You must be joking. The nearest bank is three islands away. Okay, what about Worm? I mean, it would make sense he's fishing. Fish. Could be good beat. How did it die? I think it drowned in tequila. Just like my Uncle Gabriel. Yeah, I love that. The worm makes sense. I'm actually... Okay, I'll get you a fish. It might take a while, though. It might take a while? I don't have a while. It might take a while. He's going to catch it in like two seconds. Watch. No? Do I really have to, like, walk away and wait till he catches it? Oh, vey. Sorry, I was checking something real quick. <sighs> Wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. One second, one second, one second, one sec. Just a second. I'm almost there. Hold on. I just don't want to have to cut this later just because I'm doing a quick work thing. And we are good, I hope. Alright, we're good. Okay, so he's going to catch this fish. How long is that going to take, man? There was nothing else up. So I guess we'll just wait. I don't know what we're waiting. How long do we got to wait? That's how we're going to distract the cat. So I guess we'll go talk to the fucking dude again. Like, I don't know what else to, like, pass time. I need the fish now, dude. I don't really know why I need the cat's yarn, but sure. Oh, shit. No, he, he walked away as I clicked to talk to him. Did you see the sisters go by? Yeah, they wanted to string that fisher brat up. Of course, uh, I told him where to find him. A fink, as well as a creep. Nice. But he'd managed to vanish somehow. Catch you later, Bronson. Yeah, catch you later, douche cake. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sure he's going to walk over here now that I'm over here. He always does. It never fails. I still wonder if I can look at his plans when he walks away. I just need to time it right. I just had. Here we go. It is a timing thing. No? Hey, get out of there. <coughs> Damn it, that didn't work. Okay. <coughs> he still catches you. Boo. Okay, well, never mind on that. The net? I don't even know. Do I go back to the house now? Like, I'm still confused. Maybe we'll go talk to the I kid one more time. Want... Maybe I'll talk to the kid one more time, see if he caught the damn fish. I'm not sure what else to do, to be honest. You didn't happen to catch my fish yet, did you? No luck with the fish? No, man. They don't want bite. That's cause they know there's a storm brewing. Storm? I don't think so. Hey! I got a bite! Here yeah. we go. Get that fish, boy. It's a big one! A real big one! Reel him in real. It's not a fish. Jeez, must be a whale or something. Not a fish. What the f a unicycle? Rustiest whale I ever see. I still need a fish reel. Okay, make me try again. Maybe you better change your bait. Okay, bicycle, I'll take that. The I mean... only serviceable part of the bicycle's wreck was a rubber inner tube. You just never know when you're going to need stuff like that. Well, take that shit then, boy. Rubber inner tube. There was nothing else. Nothing on the bicycle. Fish? I still need a fish reel. Okay, make me try again. What can I do with an old inner tube? I know what I do. I take the biggest catapult you'd ever seen. And use it to smack bronze with a fish <laughs> from a distance. That's pretty. It's a pretty good idea. Shenanigans of yours are gonna get you in deep trouble someday. They probably already have. He didn't even fish slap that dude already. All right, so we're waiting for him to catch me fish still. 
Make a catapult, he says. That's interesting. Is that even an option here? Can we do something with this net yet? I didn't want a fishing net. I'll talk to, to I'll talk to Bronson one more time just to see if he says something different. And if not, back up to the house, I guess. Still not sure what to do with the inner tube, but we'll we'll try something up by the house. Bruh, talk to me. No more to okay, nothing else. To the house we go. Okay, maybe if we give the cat the inner tube, let's just give that a shot. It was the old inner tube from the bicycle, which real three feet of slightly perished rubber. Slightly perished rubber. Does it cat like rubber? Let's try it. I could have loaded the cat into the inner tube and <laughs> launched it out to sea. Catapult. Get it? Oh my god. Oh, Stobart, you kill me something. Oh my god, a catapult, son of a bitch. <sighs> That's funny. Can I... Okay, hold on. Can I use the rubber inner tube on the flagpole up here? Because that's the only other thing I have to interact with. So let's just see if it works. And if not, maybe we're going to make a catapult out of this. That'd be interesting. I don't know how we're going to do it without being able to reach, but let's try it. Oh? 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 Can I... Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why isn't that a good idea? I'm confused. The fact that you can even do that means something. I didn't have a flag on me, so. Okay, can we catapult something? Uh, I don't know if we're catapulting something, but can we attach something to this, like the panties? Nope. The. I'd better. Th the coal. Nope. Uh, the bed, 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 bed. Not. Uh, uh huh. Wrong. Hmm. I don't really know. Am I supposed to attach? I don't know. Maybe. It... Am I supposed to attach the inner tube to something? Like something in my inventory, that maybe. Would... That. No. I'd better think that. Uh. That wouldn't. I wasn't convinced. I wasn't convinced either. Okay, shit. I have an inner tube. What do I do with it? Like a deflated rubber ass inner tube. Like, am I really supposed to make a goddamn catapult out of it? Like, what the fuck? Is that really what I'm doing? And what do I? How do I make a catapult out of it? Like, where? What can I even use to make said catapult? That's what I'm like a little confused by. I'm gonna talk to the kid one more time. Oh shit! He he has a fish. He has a fish, yo. He's got the fish. Here's your fish, Mama. I can't put it in my pocket while it's flapping about like that. No problem. No problem. Did he murder it? We put it in a bag. Okay, so I guess that was it. Hold on, I'm doing another work thing. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. So we got the fish. Um, let's go back to the, the, the cat then and give him the fish and see what happens. I, I guess I need the yarn and the tube maybe. Maybe that's what the combo is that I'm missing. The yarn plus tube equals what I need to do. I'm not sure how they're going to help with each other. But we're going to find out. Because here's a fish for the kitty. Okay, cat. You don't deserve this, but here's a little fish. Here's a little fish. Go get it, bitch. Oh yeah. Damn, that had some blood to it and everything. Ate the fish, but never strayed far from the ball. What a little bitch. I wasn't going to risk. Wait, what? That's. I. Ah. Uh... I could have catapulted. I feel uh, he. I needed that. So wait, I gave him a fish. He ate it, and that's it. Do we need another fish now? Is that what it is? 
I'm gonna talk to the kid real quick. Yo, I got a fish and the cat ate it. Are you surprised? I need another fish, Rio. Okay, make me try again. Ay -ay -ay. I need another Okay, make Make me try again. I'm assuming that means he's just gonna Man, this is annoying. You have to go back and forth. You should just catch it real fast so you can be like, okay, here's one. Like I get that it's like a realistic thing, you gotta let time pass or whatever, but like it's still annoying. So okay, I wasn't supposed to just straight up give him a fish. I have an idea. Maybe I'm supposed to string up the fish to the rubber tube from the flagpole and that'll get the cat's attention. I still don't know why I need the yarn, but we'll find out. There was nothing else on He's got the fish. I saw I saw him pick it up as I got there. There's a fish my man. Thank you, sir. There's a fish my man. Alright, question. Here's my question. Can I attach them to each other in the menu? I wasn't convinced. Okay, maybe not in the menu. Hmm. I. I'm just trying to think if I can combine anything together to like help the fish hook onto the tube. But let's go give it a shot. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how we can use the fish. Unless the fish, <laughs> unless the cat just wants more than one fish. But I'm gonna try what I thought first. Hang the fish from here. Maybe it gets the cat's attention. That's what I'm gonna guess. But if not, well, then I guess we'll try something else. So we'll hang that. Tie the fish to it. I'd have to do that from the. Oh, you have to do it from the ground. Okay, okay. Hey, it was an option. He didn't argue. Here we go. Yeah. Dancing. I just hoped it didn't give itself a cardiac. There you go. Progress, y'all. All right, let me get that ball of yarn while you ain't looking, cat. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck I need your yarn for, though. It was the ball I stole from the cat. Is it a ball or a yarn? It's a ball. It's a ball. Can I throw the ball at this? This? Nah. I didn't have the throwing strength to knock the marker off. Really? Uh, what do I throw the ball at then? No, the window? I couldn't just go around throwing things at other people's windows. Talk to the kitty? Okay, the cat doesn't do shit. Can I take the inner tube and stuff back? I didn't want to risk the wrath of that vicious ass. Can I go back up the ladder? It's such a silly thing that we got the fucking... I didn't have a... Can I throw the ball from up here? Nah. I, the windows... Man. I haven't tried to pick the lock. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this ball, by the way. Are we going to throw it at the fucking douchebag? Like, I'm confused. No, I couldn't just... I'm not trying to throw it. I'm trying to, like... Pick the lock on the window, bro. Although, if it's locked from the inside, it's kind of pointless. <clears throat> okay. So what am I going to do with this ball? I don't even have an idea of what to do with this ball. I have no more. Throw the ball at him. He wouldn't have wanted that. Catch you later, Bronson. He wouldn't have wanted that. I wasn't trying to give it to him. Uh okay. I don't know what to do with this ball. I'm gonna go talk to the kid again. I really don't even know. Like, I got a red ball. Out of all that, I got a red ball. I have no idea what to do with that shit. Talk to the kid again, I guess. What would you give me for this fine red ball? It is a very nasty Arabic insult I could teach you. Forget it. That's it. Wow. I wasn't going. <sighs> okay. He doesn't want the red ball. Not that I thought he did. I just, I, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of running out of ideas. Let's go back to the house, I guess, and see if something happened. Maybe the cat got the fish. 
No, nope, still dangling, still strangling and dangling there. I couldn't think of. What would I want to do with this ball, man? Wait, can I put the ball on the end of the flagpole? Does that do anything? Like, will that throw off his thing? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, and it's like, you definitely want to knock cool. that, and you can't throw it to knock it off, so what the fuck does it want me to do? No. That wouldn't... Wrong... I'm just trying to combine... Wasn't I'm just trying to combine things no. in my inventory and see if they do anything. They don't. The ladder, the window, the flagpole. I don't really know what else to try, man. Kind of running out of ideas here, man. Am I going to have to hit that hint button? I kind of want to. I have the ball, now what? Yeah, no shit. That's my exact question. Try knocking the marker from the flagpole. Wait, what? I tried that. He won't throw it. Reach the flag. I tried this. He said I couldn't do it with my arm strength. Nah. Can I throw something else at it? Nah. I... It says try knocking it. With what, bruh? Nah. Nah. I'm confused what to do. Don't know how to hit that shit. I already had this idea. I don't know what else to do after that, though. To the left of the house, attach the inner tube to the... Tr Wait, what? Wait, what? How am I supposed to get the inner tube down? I didn't want to. Can I get the fish off of there? What? How am I supposed to get the inner tube down? I couldn't. Maybe I could do it from on the ladder like I did before. Hold on. Let's try that. I have I haven't tried to get the inner tube down from here. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Here, you can have your fucking fish, cat. I see. Okay. I hadn't tried to attach it to the tree, though. That's new. I didn't even know that would be an option. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, I can make a catapult out of the tree? I couldn't think of any. No, no, no. You're not climbing it. You're catapulting that shit, boy. I see. It looks like a slingshot. Oh my god, and we're gonna slingshot that fucking thing. Can we slingshot anything besides the ball, though? That would be fun. Let's try it. No, can't do that. Lipstick. Ooh, or my coal. Coal, slingshot that. I put my lucky lump of coal in the catapult. Oh wow, is he actually gonna try it? Took aim. No! My lucky piece of coal vanished into the distance. Oh it shit! Like it was going into orbit. I lost my coal? No! I didn't mean to do that. That was my lucky piece of coal, man. I didn't know I could do that, though. That's funny. Alright, nothing else seems to work. It's definitely the ball, we know. I put the ball in the catapult. Took a... Yes! You did it! So it was a lucky shot, but I knocked the other line toward it clean off the end of the flagpole. Congratulations, you did a thing. Now he's going to be confused and come up to the house. Yes. Yes, queen. Just what we needed. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm assuming we're leaving that catapult there. We don't need that again. What the hell's going on here? Hi, Bronson. Nice to see you, too. You again. Have you been screwing around with my theodolite target? Where is it? I had to climb out of the window to put that one on. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go through all that again. Not this time. The house is locked up and the sisters aren't here. Hell's teeth! I'll have to put the spare target on the other flagpole. A whole morning's work wasted. I'm gonna fix all this and then I'm gonna fix you, you hear? Yeah? Fine. I'll be waiting. Good luck fixing me, bitch. Uh, 
Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna go check out your plans. You have fun. Bye. Just gonna go take a look at your plans real quick. Don't mind me. I just had to sneak a look at those plans. Well, now you can. He ain't here. Sneak a look, boy. Oh shit, he's hey, not. Get away from there right now. Are you serious? And stay out. Are you fucking serious? He really stopped me from there. You got to be shitting me, bro. Oh shit, I just took his theodolite. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's fucking funny. Haha. -ha. Took your shit, bitch. See ya. I'm gonna go talk to the kid real quick. That's fucking funny. I was not expecting to actually take his shit. That's funny. There was nothing else on the bicycle wreck I could use. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to talk to the kid. What the hell? There was nothing else I wanted to ask the boy. Oh, that was it for the boy for now. Then okay, maybe we'll ask him more shit later. <laughs> okay sorry i just i keep having to do a work thing because i'm getting super annoyed with this work thing i have i have going right now all right well i guess <laughs> i took us the auto light i guess we'll go back up there i don't that's fucking funny wait what if i take the ladder ha ha Oh shit. What you doing, Bronson? Just hanging around? I'm gonna kill you for this, Stobart. Get me down from here. What, so you can kill me? Gee, you talked me out of it, Bronson. I felt a little guilty about leaving Bronson up there. But not much, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna take your marker too. Thanks, bro. The marker was a bright, shiny thing, and I have a weakness for bright, shiny things. <laughs> weakness. Okay, so maybe we're going to use that to help us triangulate something. That's the whole idea. Ooh, can we shoot something? The novelty value of having an inner tube in my pocket had worn off. I left it there. Can we shoot anything else off of it? That'd be hilarious. We don't really have anything else to shoot, though. Um, so the door's locked. The window's locked. The cat. What can we do with the cat? Cat? I wasn't going to risk... Okay. Well, now that he's just hanging there, he can't possibly stop me from looking at his plans now, am I right? It's funny that we can take his Theodolite without doing that part, but now that he's hanging there, he has no chance. Oh, we can just take his plans. Fuck yeah. Fuck your plans. They're mine now, bitch. With Bronson out of the way, I could finally get a clear look at the plans. Engineer's drawings didn't mean much to me, but one thing was clear. These plans were for a five-story, 200-roomed, luxury, pirate-themed... Hotel. Jesus. Another stain on the bedspread of paradise. Okay. Are we showing that to the old ladies, or what's what's the plan there? It was Bronson's plans for Hotel from Hell. It was the electronic marker. With... Yeah. It was Bronson's. Yeah, I took all his shit. I get that, but like, I'm not exactly sure what we need to do with any of that shit yet. So, let's see if we can go talk to the kid now. I honestly don't know what else to do, if not. Maybe the kid can take me somewhere in the boat? Look here. Bronson's plans. Was I right? Is that creep up to no good? Darn right he is. That's it? That's it. Was I right? You were right. There was nothing else up. Okay, well then, shiz nuggets. I wasn't going anywhere in that boat without. Okay. There was nothing else. Okay, well, I've looked at the plans. Maybe go back up to the house and hope the ladies are there then? Like, I don't really know. Only other thing down here to rank with is the net. Oh, the ladies are back. There you go. 
climbed up there of his own accord. Then help him, you stupid man. Quickly, before he falls. Nah, I'm good. I'll talk to you first. Hi. Could I ask... Never mind that. Help poor Mr. Brunson. What if I give you the plans first? What if I give them the plans before that happens? Here, take a look Here. at this. Bronson's plans. Oh. This means nothing to me. She's not wearing her reading glasses. Ah, wait. Yes, I see now. I see it all too clearly. That man is planning to build a huge hotel. Bronson is a confident trickster. Me now we have been duped. I'm glad we didn't sign his contract. Oh, I hate tricksters, especially confident ones. Come, Nina. Open up the door, let me in. So yeah, sh they're not gonna give a fuck about that guy. Oh shit, what are they gonna do to him? You may consider yourself persona non grata. Yes. Carve canum. Kindly disentangle yourself from our flagpole and eject yourself from our property this very minute. Disentangle. Eject. Hey, cut that out, you crazy old bat. How dare you? He's about to die right now. He isn't crazy. She's He's just engaging the <laughs> Yeah, as a bed bug. Oh, she's dead. Or he, wow. He's totally dead. As lovely as this little vista is, I'd be really grateful if you could let me into the museum now. Certainly, young man. We are most grateful to you for exposing this house. You're welcome. The lock. God, that I item better be in there. Bard, be a pal. Get these harpies off me. You know? Ooh. George's like, nah, but see ya. I'm busy. Meanwhile, in London. Oh shit, we're gonna go see what, what, what's her face is up to. Nico. It was a long shot, but I thought I'd start my search for the Jaguar Stone at the British Museum. The British Museum. Wow, these girls are buff as shit. Good lord. And look at this green-haired douchebag-looking dude. Oh boy. All right, well, let's say hello to our new friends here, the girls. I don't know, I just drawn to them first. What's up? Oh, it's the Japanese girls? For being a couple Japanese girls, they are super buff. Good lord. Same girls that were at that other place in, uh, in France. I had and have no interest in old pots. Old pots? Okay. I'm just going to take a look at all your shit. Don't mind me. It was a stone identical in size and style to the Coyote stone. However, this stone bore the image of a jaguar. So we found it immediately. It's just right there. Son of bitch. I didn't want the mask, although it certainly reminded me of somebody. Who dat? Curtain? Excuse me, miss. Please don't touch the exhibits. Sorry, not sorry. I was just looking around. So quiet here. I doubted I could sneak this enormous stone out under my jacket. Are you... Were you considering it? I didn't need to make a call. Not yet. Maybe later. There's another stone over here, eh? Okay. Perhaps I'm a Philistine, but old vases bore me. Old vases bore me. All right, what's on this side of the room? She only has her handbag, by the way. Okay. Cabinet. It was a small, flat square of polished obsidian. Nothing like the one I was looking for. The other one had the jaguar. The caption, this was the scrying mirror. Given to Dr. John D. by Sir Francis Drake. Sir Francis Drake? I did a report on him in like third grade, fourth grade, whatever year that was. God, there it was, was so hard to find I info back in the day. You except find out where he bought his hat. Très chic. Très chic, huh? There's another cabinet behind this fool. I wanted nothing to do with that statue. 
It made me nervous somehow. Somehow. There's a cabinet behind him. It looks like there's a weapon in there or something. The cabinet was locked. I didn't know I was going to try to open it, but all right, let's talk to this fool. Can I help you, miss? He's the only person here to talk to. What can you tell me about the scry, Mia? Ah, that belonged to the alchemist and part-time Elizabethan spy, Dr. John D. It was brought back from the New World by Sir Francis Drake and presented to him. It's Mayan, you know. You know. What is a scrying mirror? It's rather like a crystal ball, and you can't see anything in it. Apparently, he had a partner who used it to talk with angels. If you ask me, you were barking mad. Barking mad. Have you ever heard of an English sea captain called El Draco? El Draco? Not a very English name. I think that's what the Spanish would have called him. It was about the time of the conquistadors. 16th century. Oh, I know. That's what the Spanish called Sir Francis I was going to say, Francis could be Drake. Drake. Have you got anything here that belonged to him? Indeed, miss. We have a couple of artifacts he brought back from one of his journeys. The fuck was that sound effect? It didn't look anything like the coyote stone. This one was like a little black shaving mirror. Is the scrying mirror the only piece of obsidian Drake gave to you? I think you should ask him. There's another called the Jaguar Stone. He never liked it though. Said there were angels in the mirror, but devils in that stone. Huh. Can I take a closer look at Dee's mirror, please? No, you cannot. That's why the cabinet is locked. They tried some new fangled interactive scheme. And you can guess what happened. Bloody kids ran off with half the exhibits. Hands on experience, my foot. In my days, it was hands off. I hands know. off. What do kids know about ancient Mayan civilization? Nothing. They just want to steal that shit. Can you tell me something about the Jaguar stone? Certainly, miss. The so-called Jaguar stone was brought back... I don't know what the, the hell that sound effect is. Francis Drake ...and presented... With, as you already know, the more famous scrying mirror to John D. The old loony didn't like the stone, though. Reckoned it was tainted by the devil. Come along, miss. I'll show you the mirror. I've already... Oh, never mind. Sure. Let's take a closer look with this guy. There's John D's famous scrying mirror. Given to him by Francis Drake. Do you know if this mirror has any relevance to Tezcatlipoca? Who that is? <laughs> I could use some more information. Oh, this. Oh, this, this lady fucking guy. What? You two know each other, do you? Excuse me, the telephone. The tele. Professor Oubier is here, of course. We meet again. Mademoiselle, France, eh? Yes, I believe that's where you live, Professor. I have a house there, on the outskirts of Paris, but I haven't been back for many months. What can you tell me about the Jaguar stone, Professor? It's obsidian, from the Chichen Itza region. Chichen Itza. Okay. Mr. Phone Call's already done. What's up with that? Professor Oubier, your taxi here. If you'll excuse me, I have some urgent business to attend to at the docks. At the docks? Oh boy. Can you answer me some questions about the Jaguar stone? Certainly, miss. If you just step this way. Step this way? Oh shit, it's gone. It's gone. Some sods have inched it. Have inched? Stolen it, miss. Never mind. The silent alarm will have been tripped. I'm afraid nobody can leave until our crack security team gets here. How long will that take? It could be a while. I think it's their tea break. The thief could be miles away by then. Don't you worry about that, miss. Just don't try to leave. It was too much of a coincidence that Ubie showed up and the stone prompt. Son of a bitch. I didn't have time for that crack security team to finish that team. I had to get after him. So I gotta find a way to distract this fool to get out of here then. Because that fool's not gonna let me just walk out of here. 
Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Let me talk to him again and see if there's anything I can say to him. Yeah. I didn't steal the stone. I was nowhere near it. So who do you suppose did steal it? Oubier, fool. It must have been Oubier. Huh. Begging your pardon, but he's a man of letters. A professor. So was Moriarty. Man of letters or not, he's your culprit. All right. Don't you think it's suspicious Should have blamed these girls. Business at the docks? Not in the slightest, young lady. He's gone to oversee the unloading of cargo, an exhibition of Mayan sculpture on loan from Mexico City. What's the name of the ship? The Zibalba Princess, moored down by Tower Bridge. Why do you ask? Hmm. <laughs> Just wondering. Thanks thank for the you. info. You've been most helpful. There was. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Let's talk to these ladies. Anything you can help me with? Konnichiwa, bitches. All right, we'll see ya. I'm sorry, miss. Oh, but surely you don't suspect me of stealing the stone? No, but you will have to make a statement to the police. You're a witness. I didn't see shit. All right, I, I got. I got to do something to distract this fool. The cabin cabinet was locked. What do I have in my bag? There was nothing very useful in my bag. Just a single hair clip. Single hair clip, you say? Ha ha. That's the kind of thing George would do. Not me. Why not? <sighs> Don't be a bitch. The cabinet. The cabinet was locked. That's the ca Don't be a bitchnitz. Don't be a bitchnitz. The cabinet contained a dagger decorated with Mayan designs. I hadn't actually looked at that yet. Can I call on the phone? Hold on. What am I supposed to do? Perhaps I'm a Philip. What am I supposed to do? I don't really know what I wanted. Oh shit, hold up. Probably be less Can I take that key out of there? Wow. It would probably Well, now we know how to get inside of here. Maybe I should take that scrying mirror. I feel like that's probably more useful. To be honest. I feel like we might need the scrying mirror if it's part of the... the cabinet. Yeah, no shit. I'm going to use the key on it, genius. The key did... <sighs> it didn't fit the lock. Okay, well, does it fit this fucking lock over here, then? I'll stab a fool. The key unlocked... Hell yeah. Give me that shit. Give me that fucking shit. Okay, so I just took the fucking sword. It was an obsidian dagger. Okay, and I'll take the key back. Thank you. I locked the case again and took the key. Okay. Maybe I can get his attention. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me. I guess we'll just talk to him again. I don't really know what to say. I took the fucking sword. Take a look at this. Doing with that? Just looking. What was it used for? It's a sacrificial dagger, and I'd feel a lot happier if you put it down. Sure. Here you go. I didn't think the museum attendant would be interested in a hair group. Not even a cute one like this. Okay. Look at this. The thief left this key in the cabinet. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That makes the theft an inside job, right? Oh dear. In other words, the thief was Professor Wubite. Well, let's leave that for the police to decide, shall we? I better phone them right away. All right, now's my chance to GTFO. I knew I had nothing to worry about if the police were called. Yes, hello. But I had to catch up with Oubillé, and fast. All right, see ya. 
I guess I'm taking the dagger with me and the key. Please, miss. Don't go. Okay. <laughs> okay. How the fuck am I supposed to leave then? Oh, wait, no, no. Check behind the curtain. Check behind the curtain. Check behind the curtain. I haven't checked the curtain. He's not looking. I haven't checked here yet. Oh, secret exit. Bye. Oh. That's where we're going to lockpick the fuck out of here. See ya. No? Mayan dagger out of here. Wow. I leave the handle open with the thin dagger. Bye bye. Too easy. See ya. I wasn't expecting that to just be an exit. Meanwhile, back at Catch's Landing. Well, that was short and sweet. The room had been decorated to resemble the interior of a sailing ship. It was disturbingly effective. I mean, it does look very pirate shippy, or just shippy in general. The ship looked too fragile to touch. Then don't. March 20th, 1670 fix. Engaged frigate off Fan Falvador? It was garbage. Huh. I guess being a pirate didn't require too many academic qualifications. The passage went on to describe how Ketch had got wind of the approach of a fleet of English ships. It seemed the new governor had not shared his predecessor's views on Ketch's activities. They were out for his blood. Sailed to that place where I made secure my fortune. I returned safe in the knowledge that the governor shall not discover that which I had hidden. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Hmm. Okay. What's in the box? Apparently hmm. too heavy to open. Oh no. What the? There's the child. We found the child. She looks goofy as hell. Well then. What the? Who are you? I'm Emily. What were you doing in there, Emily? Hiding. What are you doing here? Uh, Grown-up stuff. Grown-ups? I'm never going to grow up, I'm not. Okay, Peter Pan. What's your name? I'm George. Pleased to meet you, Jaws. George. Jaws? Jeez. Make your mind up. <laughs> Make your mind up. What can you tell me about Captain Ketch? That's him on the wall, in the picture. Yeah? Boy, that's interesting. He was a sailor captain. This is his house. Why don't you go play with Rio? I'm not allowed. How come? Because Aunt Frost says I'm not allowed out of the house. That's why, Mr. Nosy Beak. Too bad. That's too bad indeed. Why don't you ask your other aunt if you can play with Rio? Aunt Mina's cuckoo. Aunt Frost says so. She says when the Lord handed out common sense, Aunt Mina was off getting double portions of chin. Wow. That Rio's a smart kid. He helped me out with Bronson. Rio is clever. He can spit ever so far. Wow, spitting is clever? Okay. Look, an ancient Mayan stone. Is that a magic stone? Well, I don't know about that. No. Wow. Is it magic? No? I don't give a shit. Would you like to play darts? No. Oh, come on. I'll throw you catch. <laughs> it's dangerous. Darts will stick in me and make me bleed. Wow. Playing darts with a child, George? Come on. Do you know how to use a theodolite? We don't learn anything about surveying at my school. Not until fifth grade. Wow. I never learned about surveying my whole life, so that's cool. Anything else in the sea chest before I get exploring in here? No? Okay. Chart? I'll just okay. take that. I've had my hands on an historical document. Now what? Uh, Put it over here? I don't know. Sure. The chart fitted exactly into the recess on the top of the desk. What you doing, Jaws? I'm putting this old map on the desk. What you doing that for, Jaws? Because it was obviously intended to fit in this recessed area. How'd you work that out? It's obvious. So obvious. That looked like that's where it was supposed to be, so I left it there. Okay, quill. Taking the quill, that apparently. Might come in useful. In ticklish situations. If we need to tickle something, sure. Oh. What you doing now, Jaws? Knock it off, will ya? There's something you wanna know. 
I don't buy cute or lost puppy. I'm just borrowing this feather, that's all. Why? I might be able to make use of it. You're gonna steal it? That's bad. I'm gonna tell on you. No, don't do that. Why not? Well, because I'm not stealing. I'm just borrowing. Teaching her all the good stuff. Uh, pen holder. It was firmly attached to the desk. P inkwell? In inkwell? Do I have to put the, the thing in the inkwell? No? All right, well, anything else Emily can talk to me about right now? Why don't you run... Aunt Mina told me, stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, nuts. You don't know that. I do so. I can see the whole world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. There were several things I wanted to say to that awful kid, <laughs> but I held my tongue. That awful kid? I mean, she's just kind of annoying. She's not awful, but yeah, sure. <laughs> what you doing there, Jaws? Hard a port, bosun. Aye, aye, Captain Stobart. Oh, my God. She cannot take it, Captain. My lad's dead. Abandoned ship. Okay, good times. It's Stobart. Captain Frederick or sorry, Catch, I'm Stobart. <laughs> Maybe he was a part-time pirate. Part-time pirate. Might have made a nice souvenir, but it was too large to carry. I don't want your dang painting anyways, bitch. Jingle jingle, motherfucker. Pirates were cool. <laughs> so cute. It would have been easy to reach the cutlass and slip it in my pocket. It would also have been the most regrettable action of my life. Okay, so we don't want the cutlass. I don't know why you give me the option, but sure. What's regrettable about stealing a sword? Barrel? What's in the barrel? Yow! Oh. I should have known better than to put my hand in there. Grandma Stobart had a nasty experience in a water butt once. Water butt? Okay, don't stick your hand in the barrel. Got it. Okay, so now what? Uh, tickle the little girl with the feather. Is this really gonna work? She wouldn't have been interested. Oh, never mind. Oh wait, what? That cross you're wearing, Emma. Oh, she's wearing the cross. It's just like the one Captain Ketch wore. Uh huh. Can I borrow it? Uh uh. <laughs> uh uh. Okay. What would you trade for that cross, Emily? A puppy. Well, I don't happen to have a puppy in my pocket right now. Can you think of anything else you'd trade? Don't know. Huh. Well, should we try some stuff? Would you trade for this? She wouldn't have been in. Uh, would you trade for this? She wouldn't have been in. Would you trade for some panties? That's weird. She wouldn't have been. <laughs> Lipstick? She wouldn't have been in. Damn. The stone? She wouldn't have been in. This? She wouldn't have been. The feather? She wouldn't have been. I guess the last thing is this. She wouldn't have. Okay. She want. I got a trade with her somehow. There were several things I wanted to. Okay, so. Is there anything else to interact with? Oh, this lantern. This lantern. Yo, I didn't even see that I could interact with that lantern. Okay. Just making sure I interact with everything in here. Oh, we get this. Holding that lantern, I felt kind of biblical. Like Jesus or, or Florence Nightingale. Totally. Okay. I'm holding. Oh, shit. Wait. No, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. Grab that lantern. We're supposed to do something with it. Maybe we can hold it over this fucking desk and see. No? Oh, you know what? No. Grab that lantern. Secrets. No. Shit. Uh, give it to Emily. Uh, Emily? No. We gotta do something with it. Put it in the box. What are we doing with this lantern? Over the inkwell or the pen holder, maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. The lantern fitted so precisely in the inkwell, it could only be deliberate. What you doing now? Grown-up stuff. I doubt that. I put the lantern in the inkwell. See? It fits. Why? Because it was cut to fit. Why? 
because sneaky old Captain Ketch made it that way. Why? What is with all the questions? Because I'm interested. Why? Because I have the insatiable curiosity of the young. Why? All right. Truce. Damn right, bitch. So what's up with this pen holder? It was the holder for the quill. Do I need to put the quill back in it? Oh, shit. I totally do. Booyah. Before you ask, I've put the feather back. Are you happy now? Don't you want to steal it anymore? For the last time, I didn't steal it. That's your word against mine, and I'm the one with the dimples. Bitch, I got dimples too. All right, so... Uh, that looked like that's where it was... So... Uh, the inkwell? The quill? Am I supposed to do something with this quill? No. So I put it in there. Before you act, I've put Don't you want for the lamp. That's your word. I'm still confused what I need to do here. There were several. I wonder if I have to turn the wheel once that's set up, you know? I feel like we have to interact with something. Maybe it's the bell, maybe it's the wheel. Let's see. Nothing. What about the bell? Jingle jingle. No, maybe... I'm not sure. Got the lantern in its place. Whatever lived in that barrel could stay there as far as... Something's in the barrel. Okay. Hmm. Does she have anything else to say now? There were seven. Hmm. The quill? No, I didn't mean to grab the quill again. Shit. I wanted to interact with this fucking inkwell again. Or not the inkwell. Yeah, the inkwell. <sighs> have to do something with this fucking lighter? Before you, I've put the you, you know what? That's your word. I'm going to take the quill back. I wonder... If I'm supposed to stick something else in here. You know, something smaller. That's the only small thing I have, though, to be fair. Ooh, what if I put this on the light? No? Man, I don't know what to do with this shit. Can I go back out here? Is this an option? You can just fucking leave? You totally can. Not that I wanted to leave, but you totally can. Alright, noted. I do wonder if I'm supposed to go back out. You know what? Let's go see. Maybe it's because I can go back out here, I should. What if I tickle the fucking cat with the feather? Let's see. The cat made short work of the feather, tearing it into a blizzard of small pieces. Oh, but something fell. Something else. Something. The shreds. There's something there. The quill had been torn into small pieces. Okay. Was that a good thing, though? Fucking cat. I wasn't... Okay, so the cat destroyed the feather. Is that a good thing, though? I don't know. I'm just double-checking if there's anybody else out here. I'm gonna go talk to Rio again, if I can, and be like, yo, bitch. Maybe... Maybe the feather can be used for something? I don't know. Let's just talk to him again. I have a couple... Uh, things. Let's just see if he says anything. What do you give to a small, irritating girl who asks about everything? Try a conch. Delicate colors, interesting shape, and when you put it to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah? Why's that? Usually because you're standing next to it. Cool. Have you got one? Yeah, but I promise it to my sister. She well vexed with me. Okay. Why is your sister mad with you? Well, last night, when I got home with our supper, she went wild. Real, she said. How come all you ever catch is puffer fish? A sick of puffer fish. What I want is tiger fish. So don't bother come back home till you catch one, boy. I don't see how I'm gonna catch no tiger fish. All I have is a fishing pole and a worm. What do you need to catch a tiger fish? One of them real fancy flies like the rich fishermen use. Can you use this? Hey, this is just what you need to make a fly. Ha ha. Thanks. 
this hope them tiger fish hungry. A deal's a deal. Here's a conch. There we go. Okay, so I'm glad I came out here to talk to him because for a minute I was like stumped on like what I was supposed to do next inside there. But now we have what we need. We made him a little fly fisher thingy out of the fucking feather. Now we have a conch to give to the girl. Maybe she'll leave me alone if I do that. I don't know if I really need to be left alone that bad, but maybe. All right, so we got the conch. Oh, trade the conch for the for the thing. That's what it is. Here, conch. Here, I've got a conch. Would you like it? Dunno. Aunt Frost told me never to take presents from strange men. I'm not a strange man. Then why are you called Jaws, Jaws? That's a stupid name. I'm not called... Look, conch, pretty. Swap for the cross, yes or no. Right, this thing's going out the window. Okay, we'll do swapsies. We'll do it. I don't know what I need the cross for specifically, but sure, I'll take it. Probably the key to something. Okay, let's take a look at it. Ketch's crucifix was encrusted with precious gems. That's it? Do I need to shove it in this hole right here? Totally. Ketch's cross slipped snugly into the pen holder. Before you ask, I've put your cross in this little hole in the desk. Why? Impulse mainly, with a dash of irrational intuition. Silly. Only women have intuition. The Beasy pleasy. A strong light over the desktop. Oh, the light the I get it. And the shadow fell precisely over a small unnamed island shaped like a skull. Son of a bitch! Well, we have a heading. That must be it. Ketch's Treasure Island. Uh oh. That zombie island. It's a bad place. No kidding? Well, bad place or not, that's my next port of call. Can I come too? The hell you can. I never get to leave the house. I mean, you're just a child. What do you expect? Can I take any of this stuff? Probably not. I don't need any of this shit. But I probably need to have Rio there take me there. Rio is probably going to be my ride. Although he's not going to want to take me to a place called Zombie Fucking Island. But here we go. Hopefully he caught his tiger fish. <clears throat> you know what I haven't done today at all since I started recording? Save it. That would probably be a wise move. Ooh, we're up to 68% though. That's pretty dope. Nice. Working our way downtown. Working fast and faces pass and I'm making progress. Woo. Woo. Would you take me to... Uh Zombie Island. In this weather? You're a madman. The rain will keep the zombies indoors. Just say, I did meet a zombie. What would you do? He ain't no zombies on Zombie Island. Least not anymore. It's uninhabited. Good. What do you mean, not anymore? You still want to go? I guess. Well, I ain't had no luck with them tiger fish. And with the mood my sister is in, I'll be safer with the zombies. Safer. Well, take me to Zombie Island then, kid. Here we go. To Zombie Island, yo. <laughs> Had to have one last little shot with them throwing that douchebag into the water. All right, and away we go. To Zombie Island, yo. Here we are. Immediately a Tron so, to this thing on the ground. This was Zombie Island. Somehow I'd been expecting something more sinister. Come on, Rio. Let's find that treasure. No offense. I stay right here. Oh, come on. You said yourself there's no zombies left. Yeah. But that was while there was a big pile of seawater between me and this place. All me have now is this little bit between the boat and the shore, and I'm hanging on to it. 
All right. Well, I'm going to pick up this. Oh, this is my coal. It can't be. I was going to say coal. Wait. Oh, this is my coal that I shot across the lake or whatever. Or across my the lucky piece of coal. It's still lucky. I got it back. I'm so Wait, proud. How far away is Ketch's Landing from here? Best part of 10 miles. Why? 10 miles? That catapult must have been a lot more powerful than I thought. Shot the fucking coal 10 miles, and apparently I got an achievement for that, too. That's funny. Uh, okay. I got my coal. Is that... Oh, there's a cliff here. Hold on. The cliff was steep. Too steep to climb without handholds. Okay. And I couldn't find any. Okay. Uh, rock outcrop? It was too high. I couldn't get up there. Okay. Cliff, rock high. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can interact with here? I'm not seeing anything else interactable right now. Hmm. It's too high, he says. I don't have anything to like help me get up higher. Oh, maybe I gotta like set up this thing. I don't know. I probably do, but I don't know when or what. Okay, let's talk to Rio real quick. That Emily sure asks a lot of questions. Resic man, this whole Emily business just isn't funny. Look, we're obviously at cross purposes here. I'm talking about Emily Ketch. Yeah, and so am I. He was my friend. Her aunts hated it, but we did move together, you know. He used to be real keen at hide and seek. It could take hours to find her. One time. The last time, it took years. She must have shouted and screamed herself hoarse, but there was nobody to hear her. Where'd she hidden herself? Captain Ketch's old sea chest. The only way to open it was from the outside. Suddenly, I didn't feel so good. We never exchanged another word about Emily Ketch. <laughs> there was nothing else I wanted to ask the boy. Okay. What else can I interact with here? Hello? There's a rock outcrop. There's a cliff. I got my coal. What? Uh, pray tell. Can I use? I'm like, can I use one of my things on one of these things? Like, I'm confused. I don't really know what you want me to do. Can I go more to the right here and I just don't notice? More to the left, maybe. Maybe there's something out in the wall. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a sea I can look at. Looked inviting, but I was here to do a job. Okay, never mind on that. There's nothing else to look at. I can't even like click on anything here, man. I'm confused. Wait, boat. Rio's boat was strewn with fishing nets and tackle. Okay. I can't believe I didn't find that one either, but whatever. Interactive spots, interactive spots, interactive spots. I'm only finding a couple. And I don't know. I really don't know. I'm. You know what? Let's take a break here for a minute. I am actually getting kind of hungry. We're at 69% anyways. So let me just take a quick break here. And, uh... Yeah, BRB.